5,716 feet, the Burj Khalifa is the tallest structure ever built on Earth. Towering over the city of Dubai, it has the highest observation deck and the highest restaurant in a skyscraper. And its owners say it has the highest swimming pool in the world. Is there a room for tall buildings like this that aren't just, you know, a landmark yeah. or something beautiful to look at, but that actually function and are efficient and profitable? I think there are. I think, I think nowadays there are people are building smarter. Smarter and more efficient. Mohammed Alabar built the Burj at an estimated cost of $1.5 billion. Its doors opened in 2010. Today it was, I don't know, 110 degrees. How do you keep this cool? Well, of course, it's, it's a combination of good design to start with, good advanced mechanical uh, electrical system, of course, most advanced uh, skin uh, on the building. So the makeup of the curtain wall, the type of glass we are using, the way it reflects heat, all that is a combination of advanced technologies and monitoring the building every single hour. Using an innovative thermal ice storage system, the tower is currently kept cool with the equivalent of 13,000 tons of ice. The Burj is monitored 24 hours a day in a main control room, where engineers measure everything from power and water use to wind speed and seismic activity. On a windy day, the top of the tower can move up to six feet in either direction, and the base is designed to shift in the event of an earthquake. You get a little nervous when there's an earthquake in the air? I used to, now I trust it so much, because recently, uh, last week, we had a, quite a good movement in town. Getting to the observation deck on the 124th floor takes only about 60 seconds in one of the tower's 57 elevators. Its specially designed lifts can move up to 12,000 people a day, and even act as a power source. They're actually creating power? Of course, they create power, and then the power goes back to the grid of the system that we have, lighting part of the building as well. But I will... Alibar explains how the Burj Khalifa captures water from outside the building itself in Dubai's sweltering humid air. We take great pride in the condensation that, that happens on the skin of the building. They get collected, and we, get, we use it for our irrigation system and the whole development. What we collect is equivalent to almost 20 Olympic pool sizes of condensation on the skin of this of this building and, and this is very valuable when you live in the desert of course and while it's only been open for four years he's already thinking of building bigger and better height is something very special for human beings i think technology has improved we can do much better next time